My favorite golfer, Harold Varner III, is joining us right off the bat. He's got to play in the Pro-Am this morning. Therefore, we're going to get right to it. You are, for the first time ever, getting to see Harold Varner when he doesn't wear a hat. Most people, in fact, I don't think I've ever seen a photograph of Harold Varner without a hat. But now we are seeing his hair in all its glory. And you will certainly recognize him out on the course. I miss it. So let's get right to it. You can cut the music. Harold Varner is here. (laughs) I love the hair. Me too. I just didn't realize how long it was. It's unbelievable. The guy in the docks a magician. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so finally, you've made it back here. This is where we first met. Yeah. uh, You're playing in a pro-am this morning. I obviously was your favorite pro-am partner. We had a great time. All time. Myself, Gary Parrish, Mike Norvell, now the head coach of Florida State. Crazy, man. I, you know, obviously, he was so serious when we played with him. Yes. Like, I was, you were like, He's a competitor. Don't, like, don't worry about it, man. It's just how he is. I was like, all right. And then next thing you know, 18 holes in, I'm like, man, he hasn't. He said like 10 words. He, you know, he's just all business. You know, I, I get it. But, like, man, I'm trying to have fun. And then, obviously – me, you, and uh, Gary had a great time. <laughs> had a great time. I think he, I had hair then. You did have I hair had then. Hair then. That is. That's how long ago it was. I had hair. Had to get like a normal haircut. Now I just cut it myself. When did you give up? Uh, a long time ago. I had a. I had a faux hawk. <laughs> Hold on, get close to like, the microphone. It was kind of going. Nobody can hear you. Get uh, close to the I had microphone. a faux hawk. If anyone knows what that is, and like I cut it one time, and it was like way back, like right here. <laughs> I was like, bro, time to go. <laughs> time to go. You didn't. Um, doesn't hurt my feelings. I think I think black people look good bald. I do too. You no, know, sometimes you you know if you get a you know Caucasian, you know they don't like put some sun on it. Looks terrible. Oh, you like, think so? Were, oh, you think so. if it's like super white? Yeah, that looks terrible. Cue ball. Man. Don't wear your yeah. Don't be wearing your hat. Right, I understand. I All wish right. I had this though. This would be awesome. Had a little visor I put on there. Unbelievable. All right. Oh, good. Special guest. Yeah, yeah. Now we got somebody that can sit next to you. This is just gonna make you comfortable. How much do y'all spend in costumes? Huh? How much do y'all spend in costumes? Costumes? Man, I love. It's it. a real frog, bro. <laughs> what are you talking? How do you make a frog noise? <laughs> See. All right, we got a series of questions for you. Well, don't pee on me. <laughs> We've got. <laughs> he's got. Oh, we've got a. We got a. We got a series of very serious questions. All right. So last week we talked about the Grove Twenty Three. Yeah. I explained to these guys about this course that Michael Jordan built for himself. You're sponsored by Jordan. I've got to imagine you've played it. I have. Yeah, I've played it a few times. It is. It's my kind of speed. That's for sure. It's um, you know, it's not very hard. I think they're you know they're finding ways to improve it. And but like the technology and the stuff they did behind it to like for practice for pros is it's second to none. But I don't I don't really practice. I like playing. And if you go out there, you can play thirty six and six hours maybe. Yeah, it's awesome. You get, as long as you don't kill yourself on the golf cart. Man, they're so fast. How fast? Like I bet you they go thirty thirty five. Oh wow. Yeah. So like you come up on a bunker, it's like too late. You know, you already hit the bunker. Do you miss putts on purpose against Jordan so that you don't? Like no, beat him you don't or ever miss punch again because you won't hear the end of it. You try to beat, yeah. He he wants to beat you. Yeah, it's uh, it's a fun. So if you beat him, right? You're a professional golfer. He's not. I've a never beat him. We've t- we've played together. I think five, six times. I think he's we've tied like every time. Do you give him strokes? Um, yeah, you gotta give him ten shots. Ten? Yeah, he's good too, man. He doesn't quit. He just doesn't give in. Like you just think you want a hole, he hits it out of play. Nah, not happening. Not happening. He never gives up. No. And it's the course is, they say the course is like built for him. It is. So yeah. you you give him 10 strokes. 10 strokes. And you guys go. end up even at the he end. He said I'm going to have to give him eight, though, if I don't win on tour. So I, well, next time I see him, I'm taking my eight. But hopefully we can get something done and get 10. So wait, hold on now. And then I can imagine like you get to the first hole and he's like 100 grand a hole or something. No. <laughs> no, I just, I'm totally That's comfortable right. losing. It's 500 bucks for me. That's what I feel comfortable. That's what you feel comfortable I, when with. he plays like it's 5 million. So he's just all right, man. Yeah. But that course, which. We've heard about the drones, too. Yeah, so, like, there weren't drones out there when I was there, but, like, yeah, obviously. Oh, they didn't have the drones? No, I don't I don't need a drone, man. They got a guy that comes out there. It's, it's um, like I was saying, it's a perfect speed for me. Like, you, you can have fun. You can practice. It's a great hang. Yep. 
for sure. All right, so you told me that you uh, are paired with Grillo this week. Yeah. You love Grillo. Yeah, he's nuts. Who is the... I who? call him the angry Mexican, but he's from Ar- Argentina. He gets so mad. <laughs> so good. Yeah. I get so mad. But he's great, dude. He uh obviously he just became a father, so You guys have, you know, that, in have that in common. And you know, just he's a good dude. We've had some fun together. All right. So it when you do get paired who is the guy that you enjoy getting paired with the most? Uh, and I've gotten paired with him the least. Bud Collie. I know he's hurt right now, but when he was out here, man, we, we hung out off the golf course, you know, he's just awesome guy. Uh, he's about to be a father too as well, so You guys are all having kids. Yeah, it's crazy, man. All right. What well, that things? that actually leads me to my next question. So you have a kid, HV four. If you have another boy, is it HV five? This ain't or, George Foreman, man. Or does that no. have to be no, it ain't. his kid? No, man. It has to be his kid. I, I just the only reason y'all bring that up is because George Foreman named his. Kid. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. No. Yes. No, you don't I, have a brother, right? No. Okay, so no, that you can't do that. That's just bad. But then the other kid is probably going to resent the fact that he's not. Well, they do it all the time in the royal family, so it'll be just fine. <laughs> royal family, yeah, royal families. They they have the first one. That's the that's the prince, and then the next one it'd be like Harry, I guess. So if you, yeah, if, be living the life. No, <laughs> sounds so good you, to me. <laughs> if you have another boy, uh, I don't know what his name will be. That's not up to me. Oh. My job is just to raise him, <laughs> discipline him. I love my hair right now. Even my frog loves it. It looks so good. I don't know, man. I can't. I like to be able to see it. I'm gonna be like, like a it girl. just feels weird to have hair again, right? No, I actually like no hair because you don't think about anything. You shower and walk out. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> what time did you get up this morning when you knew you had a pro am at ten? Six. Oh. Yeah, but I worked out before. Hit some balls. Got some stuff done. Is that what a usual day is? What time do you no, get up? No, man, I don't get up early like that. Usually I'm hitting it good and I don't have to practice. I just work on my putting and chip and get a good feel for it and we go play. What you do know? you mean you don't practice? I you don't. don't even go to the range? Like I'll hit like 20 balls, but when you're hitting it bad, you got to go address it. Like you get, So I um, talked to Butch last night and I worked on some stuff and stuff's coming out a little better. How'd you? How'd Not you, as good as his hair. How'd you hook up with Butch Harmon? Um, Danielle Kang. Crazy story. Yeah. Um, Met Daniel Kang, and she was like, I was in the mountains, I was hitting bad, and I was like, hey, do you think uh, I could see Butch? Oh, no, I was doing my podcast. I was doing my podcast, and we interviewed her, and I was like, man, I think it'd be so cool to get a lesson from Butch. And she's like, you ever let me know? So I texted Danielle, and she's like, well, he can see you tomorrow. So I drove from the mountains to Charlotte, caught the next flight out, left at 7 a.m., um, landed at 9, then I caught the 2 o'clock. Back home. So I left at 7 a.m., got back at 9.40. You yeah. did it all in one day? Yeah, yeah. Cause what know, is a first lesson with the PGA Tour Pro? Like, when you go to see Butch Harmon, do you just – I mean, you've obviously gotten this far, and you had your ranking, and you were playing simple, well. Man. He's old school. He's really old school, man. He just, like, you know, sees the ball. This is kind of what it's doing, and that's about it. Like, it's not like rocket science, like – we just can't see it when you're hitting the ball. Like, you know, you can try to figure it out, but like. So, what's the first thing he says to you that you need to me? fix? Uh, he told me I need to work on getting my head out of it. It's keeping my head down there too long. So, yeah, it was good, man. He's been, he's been great, uh, great mentor, fun guy to talk to for sure. He loves, loves having a good time and just wants to see me get better. He cares a lot. So, I really appreciate that. So, now you've been working with him for some time. I mean, the guy is a yeah, bona fide over, legend. Over a year, U.S. Open. Two U.S. Opens before. Yeah, he's awesome, man. Look he's at great. you yawning. Man, yeah, see, you're bragging about getting up at 6 and working out, and I'm then you're tired, like, man. Oh, I need a monster. No, I ain't drinking no monster. But, <laughs> hey, man, I'll bring the energy. You don't worry about me and my energy. With this hair, it's on like Donkey Kong. Speaking of energy, I had to wake up at the crack of dawn to watch you in that tournament overseas where you eagle 18 and yeah. win it. When you eagled it in Saudi Arabia. That sounds more like it. That's where that happened. It was the best putt, I would say, of the year. If it would have happened in any other country, it would it would be the best. Putt. You think you would have? You so. probably would have gotten invited to the ESPYs. 
Oh, I didn't. So I you think this. you think because you made the putt in Saudi Arabia, it I didn't get the attention that it deserved? Hundred thousand percent. You think? There ain't yeah. no thinking about it. I know it. I tell people that. <laughs> I'm just telling you, it's the facts. You I, think? I, I ain't gonna lie about it. We gonna sit here. Them. Literally, you just brought it up. You said putt overseas. Man, how many places are overseas? I did that because I no, did you that. did that because we in this. I TV did that on purpose. Course. No, yeah, no, yeah. I didn't. Yeah, that was a sick putt, man. It was awesome. It couldn't happen to a better guy. <laughs> it was awesome. Me and Bubba were friends. I was so pumped when it went in. Oh, man. Was- Bubba Watson couldn't believe his eyes. I don't care if he could believe it, son. It went in. So, d- yeah, is dude, that the- I'm just telling you. That's the best happen- shot you've ever hit. Under the circumstances, without a doubt. For a million dollars? Think about it. You made a 92-footer for a million dollars. <laughs> Please. Nine- you know, and my world ranking went up. <laughs> Ended up getting in Augusta. What you talking about? Thank you. Tip my, tip my hair. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, it was awesome, man. Putt. When you put it that way, a ninety-two foot putt, uh, ninety-two foot putt for a million dollars. That's the way you look at it. Like, ain't nobody gonna remember that in twenty years. But you know who won't forget it? Me or, or your me. wife? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That bank account won't forget it either. How fast was that? Yeah, spend? we're gonna help. People How with fast it. was it spent? Especially fast. with a kid. Oh my we, gosh, I don't know. I can't imagine. You can't that kid, spend the kid's got enough. a Rolls Royce look car at this seat. Guy. Look at this he? guy. He used to take care of me when I was at TVC Sawgrass. Unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, when I first met him, I had hair. Like legit hair. I had a I had a flat top. Yeah. A flat top? And I had every type of haircut you can imagine. What the hell's the point of having hair if you can't do different styles? I understand. The only time you have a clean cut is if you're in the army. Or the Yankees, obviously. Or the or the Yankees, fair yeah, enough. I, I think I think I understand that. Um all right, so that put for ninety two feet, right? That I went crazy over. At what point do you think this, like, dude, I might make this thing? No point that I ever think I was going to make it. No. When it went over the hill to go down, I was like, I'm going to a playoff. I was like, it was good pace. and went up the hill fast enough. The wind kept pushing it, and then it went in, and my caddy tried to tackle me. I, yeah. was, I was shocked you even got on a plane and came back. I figured you'd just stay there. It took me a while. Be playing with Phil Mickelson. Mm. <laughs> No comment. <laughs> no comment. No comment. <laughs> oh, you know what? You've been in the middle of all this uh, controversy that's because going that on. Part, it's not controversy. Yes, it is. It's, it's constant. Little, it's constant something for people to talk about. If you just handle your business, it'll it'll all work out itself. Like, let people do what they want to do. But it, no one, you know, golf is so boring. Like, they don't have anything else to talk about. It. Like, what else are they talking about? In golf, what is there to talk about? What do you mean? Other than this tournament, what else are they talking about? What do you mean, what is there to talk about? Like, on the world stage. I get on my phone and people are asking me about golf that don't know anything about golf. Oh, so you want dra- you like the drama. You think, think it, it brings I mean, a bunch of attention to this. Oh, it does. I mean, if it's, on, if it's on the national news. The last time the golf was on national news, either Tiger won four majors or Tiger, you know, had his little incident. Well, then why don't you, why don't, why don't you do something? Like... I do everything. No, I'm saying you like make a putt on one, like start humping the green or something, right? Like yeah, you so want people get, to start talking about what stuff. What do they call it? Conduct unbecoming. Oh, oh yeah. Do you think you get fined? One thousand percent. What about dancing? I don't know, man. I just do. I just do. Like, <laughs> oh, that'd be sick. gritty. What if you hit the gritty after you? You got to do it when you win, though. You can't be celebrating when you make a birdie. Everyone makes birdies, but if you win and do it, now you're talking about. What about birdies. like an eagle? What if you just no? If, if it. it's like the Harold Varner eagle dance, can't do it. You gotta do it when you win. What about dabbing? If you just you used to dab man, all the can't time, dab right? Anymore, man. My team sucks. What are you talking about? Hole you one. yeah, hole in one. That ain't going, but I ain't ever on TV, so it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, keep doing this you TV. are never. Five people hey, saw it, bro. I gotta watch you on PGA Live in the morning. Crazy man, crazy. They don't put you on TV. Well, here's what they tell. Why you. are they trying to keep a brother down? This is what they tell you. <laughs> they say play better. I just listen to them. I try to play better. And I started playing better. Bro, you've been in the final groups and hey, they don't man, show your ass. Don't don't take that up with me. I, ain't, I can't. maybe they're worried what you're gonna do. Or maybe, like, you know, they don't want to... I can only comment so much. They don't want to show tobacco use on television. That's probably it, too. I I am embarrassed sometimes on TV when I'm sitting there. I'm like... You got a gigantic jaw in your mouth? made a bogey. (laughs) Boy, little redneck Harry. (laughs) They don't want to show it on television. They say, Harold, if you would just get that gigantic dip out of your lips... They wouldn't even have the balls to tell me that. No comment. Uh, no comment. No comment. You already commented. I'm to, hey, I'm here to win the FedEx. Oh, you're here to win the FedEx? 
Is that right? It's like what is it? I'm 50, here to win the fact. It's thirteen, the fifteen East million dollars. I've never been on the East. I've never been to East Lake for the tournament. I, I, I got to get there. Played in all the majors. I got top fifty in the world. I want to make the East Lake. That's the only thing I haven't done. Experience that I would like to do. And you know, I was close three years ago and didn't really understand how close I was. Um, but. This like, course sets up well for you. It does. Yeah, I mean, I'm a lot better at golf now than I was. But you, you know, hit the ball far, so it's a lot of drivers and wedges. Yeah, we're going. I'm gonna hit it everywhere too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hit it good there about 20 minutes ago. That was good. I've got to ask you. So, Memphis had beaten East Carolina 70 to 13 and 59 to 41 the last two times before they played last year. Was Norville there? Was. We the beat lucky, them this year. No time. Was out. the lucky one point win last year? Was that the greatest win in East Carolina history? No, maybe. But since I've been there, well, so there's some when they played the Peach Bowl a long time ago after the hurricane. I think that was our biggest win because like the city needed it. Um, but last year it was just awesome because you guys just didn't win and y'all have had our number because we played against y'all in the Liberty Bowl a few times. Yeah. When I was in school and y'all we missed like three field goals in a row. Either miss three field goals in a row, one to win, and then the rest, one to tie, we miss it, blah, blah. Who but, were you there with? Like David Garrard? No, man. How, how Chris you? Johnson? No, we had uh, – Who else? Skip Holtz was there for two years. Roddy White? No. Didn't he go there? No, he didn't go there. Oh, he went to UAB? No, That's a different – part. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, Conference USA schools. Hey, we're all getting left behind, everyone's Harold. Everyone's about to get left behind. I know. Um, it's, it's sad because, like – from a player's perspective, I think the NIL is great. I think the conferences getting the money is awesome because they should be compensated. But what it's created is a, a form of, like, if I can pay you, I can move past you. Right. And that's, like, that's that's what professional sports are. Do you think it would be hard for you to go to East Carolina if you went to school now? No, I wouldn't do you think do you'd be more tempted to go to – If they paid me? Oh, one of the power, sc- you know, power Back schools. Back then I had no money. Like, we were on welfare. Like, bro, I'm out. Yeah, you got to do what's best to move your family up. Like I think that's important that people need to understand that. Like some of these kids that are coming out of these neighborhoods, man, it's like that's their best chance. Like you know, some of them have kids, moving them up to where they can have a better chance than they did. Yeah, and if they can do it instead of making it before making it to the league, I don't. I don't blame them. Uh, it's just it's the way of the world. I just thought the NIL, you know, the NCAA did whatever they took to get all the heat off of them, so they just said pay them whatever as long as it's Written down, you can pay them. But what they should have done is paid them and put it in some type of retirement package where, uh, hey, you can't touch it till you're 35 or you can't touch it unless you get a degree. Yeah. You know, like, or you can't touch it unless you leave and you go to the league, you know, or whatever league. Like, right. Make some type of stipulation where the players are held accountable. Um, that makes sense. I think I mean, makes I'm 32 sense. and my wife, I'm 31. I'll be 32 on Monday. Monday? Like, Monday? Well, happy early birthday. Thank you. Hopefully thank you, thank we you. win the tournament on Sunday and, and celebrate. on Monday? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Speaking of, when you were first like making a name for yourself on tour, it was like every week the one story they would tell about you, they were like, and Harold Varner got in the top 20, but he still mows his parents' grass the next day. You know what I mean? I, and they didn't I mowed show- the grass on uh, this yeah. Monday. They stopped telling that story, so I figured you got so you know rich that awesome? you st- you started paying somebody no, to mow the grass. I'm never too rich to be Harold. Because once I do... You I, are still mowing the grass. Yeah, whenever I can. I mean, some people, when I'm not there, if I play for four weeks, someone will get it done. But if I'm there, I'm there. I got it. Your parents... Yeah, well, it's mine too, but it's 16 acres, so it takes a lot longer. Yeah, we laid two acres of sod. Well, I didn't lay the two acres. But, <laughs> you know, I you don't want to act that manly. No, I wanted to, but I was out of town, so I couldn't do it. But they laid two acres of sod, and it's just, man, it's really fun for me. You live on 16 acres? No, my parents do. I wish if I lived on 16 acres, I, man, I'd be good. But now we live in the city. I live on like this little box right here. How far are they? 30 minutes apart. 32 minutes. Oh, okay. So you yeah, still got, awesome. you still go got babysitters. Time. Yeah, I, still, I go there all the time. Huh? Do you, your, time. Does your family ever travel with you, or is it just too much? No, they don't They don't travel. Too much? No, it's not too much. It's just, I mean, dude, I've had, a, a, I've had a baby. It's not easy. When I'm at a golf course, it's my job to play golf. It's my job. It's, sometimes it's very clicky out here. Yep. And my wife doesn't really like that. So she can, like, it's way easier to take care of a kid when she's at home than trying to, like, uh, manage it. Yeah, somewhere else. I got you. You know, for a while, they're like the baby formula thing. Like, yeah. She's like, well, if I'm home, I can do something about it or I can 
call somebody when you're at a tournament it's like yeah the tour can help but it's only so much you can do to go around certain places right so yeah it is what it is i heard Liv's offering free baby formula i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so I'm here to win the FedEx. <laughs> Thanks, Cam. You're welcome. <laughs> I appreciate it. Cam, Cam Smith having to do that press conference yesterday was the funniest damn thing I've ever it seen was in my so life. Awkward. Dude, he I was like, I'm here to play in the playoffs. Hey, I got tea off in nine minutes. I'm not here to talk about it. Huh? I got tea off in nine minutes. Who cares? No, yeah, right. I don't, I don't play at Pro Am. I don't get to play in the tournament. You don't? No, man. They really make you play in the Pro Am. Yeah, this shit's serious, man. They don't play <laughs> around. This shit. <laughs> I love you guys. All right. Thank you, Harold. Uh, HV3, Harold Varner, third. Oh, last thing. Hey, so we've been going through the bets every day. Top 40, top 20, top 10. Varner, top 40. Top, Varner, top 40? Plus 110. Plus 110. I was actually just about to put money on it. Top 40. <laughs> top 40. Hey, no gambling at Bushwick. No big gambling at Bushwick. All right, let's take a quick break. We'll be back after this. Chris Varner Show.